Hello everybody and welcome back to Video Game Therapy. <sighs> um, I don't actually know what I want to talk about today. Uh, there's no topic on hand really. I'm just... There's kind of a lot going on. Um, <laughs> um, I kind of spawn on an island here, which is cool but inconvenient. Um, playing Minecraft today, I was... I'm installing... I'm using Bedrock. Anyway, that's what we're, you know, doing today. Um, but yeah, I'm tired. I'm just so tired. I'm exhausted, actually. Um, so today's Friday, December 18th. Um, and the week started on a pretty good note. Today's been pretty poopy. I mean, I stayed up pretty late last night. Got up somewhat early. Cause my brain, I guess it's wired for that. I don't know. It took like an hour nap. I didn't really fall asleep, but, um, I was like, I don't know. I was like, I was, I was lucid, <laughs> put it that way. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been finals week and, um, only, I only had one exam and everything else was final projects and stuff. And I think it's just like, okay, this corner thing is bugging me. And just as a post-recording insight as to the amalgamation that this video is, it's about my frustration and impossibilities with the world, right? It's not about any specific people. And in a way, I encourage people to, you know, get frustrated with the world, but no one's at fault for anything. So don't be upset with people, be upset with the world. And that's kind of what I realized at the end of this video is I'm not upset with anyone. I'm just upset with the state of the world there we go all right um yeah i don't know if anyone else has felt the same way but i think with every final thing i handed in my energy just dipped by 50 percent like it just halved every time <laughs> um i mean i can kind of retrace my steps here so to speak but for my cultures class um the original plan was five small papers um and four essays and three of your best essays would be would be your grade would be graded but uh because of the time crunch the professor and the tas i guess were kind of like you know what um if you guys are happy with the grades of your first three essays you can hand those in um and or and you cannot hand in a fourth essay like that's fine because originally they were like you have to do all four but we'll still take the best three uh, and I was happy with my grades for the first um, several essays, first several, first three. Uh, these are never going to grow again. I'm never going to come back here. Um, and yeah, so I was I was happy with those, and so I didn't submit a fourth essay. Um, <laughs> so that class was officially over. Uh, semantics. We we had one more quiz. We had an optional homework, which I did. I I just really love the material. I love linguistics. Semantics is fun. Yeah, they give me permission to be verbose. It's great. <laughs> so I handed that in. Um, I can replace my lowest quiz grade, so that's okay. Um, my operating systems home homework final was Wednesday, and it's take home. So we had like 24 hours to do it. I finished it. I looked at it at 10 a.m. and sat down for like an hour and a half and just kind of went through the problems. Probably didn't take me the full hour and a half, and then formatted everything and went over it for another hour later on, and then submitted it at like 6 p.m. Um, which is a really nice format of, man, it's when my voice sounds like this is when I'm tired. Um, um, yeah, so uh, this is pretty boring, I suppose, but the idea here is I just talk and then all of a sudden I say things that are profound <laughs> or that bring me more specific questions. Because sometimes it's not about the answers that you have, it's about the questions that you find. Um, sometimes you have answers and you don't even know it anyway um yeah so that was on wednesday and i handed that in and i was like oh my god this was the thing i was stressing out about most um and it was it was much easier than the midterm i did not do all well the midterm but i'm confident that I'll, I'll end with a good grade in the class um you know at least the grade i need i'm not i'm not too big on grades anymore at this point but um so yeah <laughs> Now I had my graphics presentation today. Um, man, we really cannot get this just right, can we? 
Um, so my computer graphics class it was very, very fun class and it was a super fun project to work on, but I'm not sure if this is where today's quote unquote downhill. No, today's downhill started yesterday. <laughs> no, today's not been totally downhill. It's been fine. I think, I don't know. Uh, the lack of structure is probably all of a sudden getting to me, but, um, you know, maybe I'll talk about that. I'll talk about my problem with free time, not my problem with free time, but like the problem that I have, I have a problem. And it has to do with free time. I don't have a problem with free time. <laughs> um, anyway, that was today. I did a really good job in working on it every day. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Each day had a different thing added onto it. And I, I wanted to go through each day in like quickly in five minutes just to present. But then I was like, people were like, oh my God, I was up all night doing this. And I didn't want to like sound, I don't know. I was afraid of sounding pretentious by being like, so I started this on Sunday. <laughs> um, and so I kind of flushed it in my presentation. I think it went fine, but um, I could have made it sound better. I don't know. Um, so I'm a little bummed on how that turned out, but all in all, it's okay. Um, we we move, as they say. Um, uh, oh, for some reason, I thought it was on easy mode or peaceful. I guess I wasn't or am not. Um, yeah, so, you know, I kind of, on to do is I had a project for each class. So I archived, you know, cultures, I archived semantics, I archived computer graphics, I archived operating systems. Now this cognition. Uh, really informational class, definitely an easy class. Um, so the final, we have two final projects. One of them was a group project and I was fortunate enough to, I was originally planning on working alone when I first heard about it, but my roommate from last year was in the class. And so I worked with him and it was great. Um, you know, not the stereotypical, I did everything complaint that every single person somehow manages to be able to complain about. I'm not going to go into that. <laughs> but yeah, no, he did a good amount of work. I, I used Blender for the first time in months. We created a really cool project, I think. Um, and I hope it turns out well. Um, and then the final, the other final project is a video project. Um, just a five minute presentation on a paper. And if you know what crash course is, which you probably do, if you don't, great educational content, um, got me through APUS is true probably. No, probably didn't get me through, but it was most definitely helpful. Um, anyway, <clears throat> man, this is kind of weird. So the mouse feels more smooth or whatever. Um, Yeah, so I wanted to make one of those, <laughs> like a crash course ripoff, because not ripoff, spinoff. Sorry, um, it just seems like a really fun thing to do, right? I mean, I'm I'm good with videos. <laughs> I've made several on this channel. I made like a documentary video in my sophomore year of high school. You know, I'm, I I make videos. I know how videos work um, because they don't expect people to know how to make videos. They literally said like you can submit. A sequence of five TikToks, if you wanted, um, of just you know you filming yourself talking about the paper. I'm not going to go into the details of the project, but uh, so my me and me and my my ex um we submitted our other project the other day, um, Thursday, yeah, Thursday, and then um, I said, okay, time to you know do the script. I didn't write the script. Um, Friday, I said, okay, I'm going to write the script for graphics class. Did not write the script. I still haven't written the script. It's 7 p.m. So I decided I'm going to record VGT because I need that out for tomorrow anyway. Um, but I I just, <laughs> you know, I told my TA, I said, hey, my uh, teacher assistant, because, you know, there's a, there's over 200 kids in the class. The professor teaches uh, freaking three classes, I think. Um, I, I said, hey, is it cool if I do a crash course? video and she's like yeah that you know that sounds like a really creative idea and I was like cool um but you know I mean she's not gonna remember that I said that obviously that's not the issue and there's not like there's an issue here but uh <laughs> oh man um yeah anyway I decided you know what I'm just not gonna do a crash course video <laughs> um if you go onto my lifestyle channel you can look up a video I did on analysis paralysis um I think I'm going to do something just like that, except it doesn't have to be, you know, it, it can be shorter. Each bit is really short. It's a very outlined video to put it one way. Um, the requirements are not strenuous to put it one way. 
Um, it's very straightforward. It's very straightforward. And so, well, originally I wanted to post it to my lifestyle channel, but I decided, you know what? I'm just going to make not the bare minimum, but like just do a presentation project. I'm going to have me and then I'm going to have an intercut between the slides, whatever. And so I feel much more relaxed about it. And I, I just laid out for like an hour. Um, and yeah, so that's, you know, first 10 minutes of the video, that's school stuff. Right. And those are external deadlines coming out. Now, going back to that thing I said about how my energy kind of went down 50% with everything I submitted. I was thinking, sorry to think about it last night, but I was wondering if um, it wasn't my energy going down, but my mind being freed up. Now, I don't, I don't think the human mind actually works this way, uh, from what I know about psychology. I don't think I actually work this way. So what I'm about to say is an analogy, but essentially, essentially, I don't even know where the P came from. Essentially, um, it's kind of like my mind can store a hundred things going on right now. When I discovered things like Google Calendar and Todoist, uh, or not discovered them, but you know, started using them, I was able to free up more space, right? I didn't have to remember, okay, on Sunday I'm doing this, on Tuesday I'm doing this, every Wednesday I gotta, you know, go to PT or whatever. Todoist does that for me, right? And that's wonderful, wonderful, <laughs> um, really grand, right? So that frees up some space. Now I pretty much let school take up most of this, you know, 80 out of a hundred slots, let's say, and eh, it's probably too generous, 70. Um, YouTube maybe took up 20. That was like really the only other thing I did. <laughs> Hanging out with friends like two, you, you get the point, you know, the proportions aren't exact here. I haven't thought out this analogy. Um, so as I, you know, the operating systems taking up 30 blocks of memory, right? And I want to make an operating systems joke, but I'm not going to. And so I submitted that and those blocks freed up. Now, the problem is not everything can be offloaded to Todoist or Google Calendar. There are simply things that just cannot, uh, they're, they're too abstract, right? They're human thought, they're emotions, they're feelings. They cannot be put onto a calendar. I can write it in a journal. I haven't done that for a little while now. Um, but yeah, so, you know, submitting operating systems, realizing just now I could have slept in the bed in the village. Um, all of a sudden I had this brain space free up and the things that were waiting to be, you know, waiting to be processed. Well, this is seriously an operating systems joke waiting to happen. Um, things waiting to be processed just fluttered in and they're really heavy, right? They're just, they really weigh on me. Um, and it's not that they shouldn't be there. They should. I just wish that they would wait until I had all a hundred slots open. <laughs> um, and the problem is, you know, without the structure that, you know, something like school provides, at least for someone like me, just how I've learned, you know, in terms of how I operate or I think I operate. Um, I, <laughs> I, I, it's too personal to talk about. Um, and yeah. Um, but yeah, that's kind of, I don't know. I think that's why my energy levels are so low. Also, I mean, I guess I can sort of talk about things in some regard, but COVID that, you know, I, I, you might've heard of it. It's, I know illegal grape transport is like the big issue right now. Um, so that's, you know, that's all over all over the headlines, but there's this other thing that's going on. You might've heard of the, the whole global pandemic called the coronavirus. Um, <laughs> I have been hermit. Um, I have been Mr. Hermit. Uh, I have, you know, left my house to do, to do what? Let's see. I have left to run, although not in the past little while because of PT. I've left to go to PT, physical therapy, for those of you who don't know what PT is. Um, this skeleton is going to kill me. I need to regen my health. Oh, this creeper is going to kill me first. That's what's going to happen. Um, or these Zambos. Wow, this is really just a not a good time. Um, doing so well. Now, I did not hear that. My volume is so low. That sucks. That is really unfortunate. Sorry about the quick intermission there. Um, yeah. So, you know, this whole pandemic thing, people, 
so I don't like driving. Um, I can drive. I drive a lot. Um, well, actually, I don't drive a lot. I drive probably. I'm very average. I drive an average amount. I would say. Um, thing is, I don't. I don't like driving because no matter how careful you are, no matter how safe you are, someone else can always be stupid as hell. Um, someone else can always be the reckless one, and I just don't like that because I don't have any control over other people. And I'm, you know, I, I've accepted that, right? But I've accepted that. <laughs> um, so, you know, I trust myself to drive safely. I trust myself to drive carefully, um, especially when, you know, if other people need me to drive because for whatever reason and or reasons, um, they cannot, I say, let me drive. That's, you know, that kind of became my main intention to learn how to drive. Um, same thing with COVID. You can be as careful as possible. Now, I don't have COVID, as far as I'm aware. Um, but so college is all remote. I keep going back. So I'm living at home with my meme, Um, and she's doing an EMS training. She's a yoga teacher. The yoga studio set, shut down. Um, so she's been doing it online for a little while, but she's doing EMS training, looking to get a job as an EMT. Um, is that, that's not too personal. I, I, you can't track me with that. I, it's not like it's a secret. Okay. Um, yeah, passes my little my little test there, my little litmus test. Anyway, um, that's not a litmus test. That's not the right analogy. I'm sorry. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so she got an email that said, you may or may not have been exposed to the coronavirus. <laughs> Blech. Um, so she's getting tested on Saturday. What is, I didn't realize these are natural structures. Um, but I had something planned, um, on Sunday. And I mean, I guess the person I was going to hang out with later in the week was tested or not tested someone they were in contact with apparently frick. I don't know. Um, <laughs> frick. I don't know. Game Grumps reference. Um, I was really looking forward to it, you know. Um, I was really looking forward to a lot of things, quite frankly. Uh, I was looking forward to be free again. <laughs> you know, I was really looking forward to be able to, you know, the boys, right? Townie with the boys, kind of boys. Uh, be like, yo, Mark, let's go on a hike. And I'll be like, yeah. I, you know, I don't have to say, frick, you know, I scheduled my entire day and, um, Problem is, it looks like that's going to be happening again, um, which sucks because I'm stuck at home um, and I really can't do anything. I mean, nobody wants to hang out anyway. Everyone, I really, uh, it's the first time in a while I've been really frustrated. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've come to terms with the fact that I can't, uh, can't control what anyone else does. I can't control the fact that you know, I'm stuck at home and I'm totally, you know, stoic philosophy has apparently, I've embodied it apparently because I'm totally fine in that regard. Um, it still sucks though. And the, I think, I think the, the main, the main thing that's hit me, so to speak is, um, that's when you know it's a real Minecrafter when you do the workbench and the sticks at the same time. Pro tip from Mobkin78. So I'm just it's just when things are like going your way and you have something to look forward to and then you just don't. Um Are you kidding me? I was about to make a digging straight down joke anyway. Alright, so yeah, um that's that's it. <laughs> I'm just frustrated, man. Um you know, I, I've been remote this entire time. I've lived inside my entire life. <laughs> um, you know what? Yeah, we're, we're going to go there. We're going to, we're going deep today, boys. Uh, gamers. Um, we're, we're going deep today. All, you know, all my life, pretty much after I moved, at least, um, I didn't want to get involved with the kids in my neighborhood. Um, Nothing, nothing horrible or whatever. Just 
not not my crowd. Um, so you know, I took to the internet. I made Minecraft. That's not a joke, uh, and my life changed. So you know, I've always I'm I'm, I'm very used to this online environment, right? Um, having friends online, um, you know, being at home. I think I'm I'm very fortunate to say that the coronavirus pandemic situation has actually helped my my grades because I'm a product oriented person. I'm not a test oriented. I mean, I always feel weird saying that, but I can do well on exams. I just prefer projects and the take home exams because, you know, it's not regurgitating an arbitrary amount of information. You can think through my operating system exam was excellent. Um, the midterm was also excellent. It was much tougher though, but you know, the questions are more geared towards how well can you think about this topic? Um, so yeah. Um, anyway, it's just all of a sudden, and you know, to a degree, I've taken it for granted. Um, sorry, Cal, I am going to be starving soon. Oh God, this is cutting it close. Can I not hit the three button to, that's fine. <sighs> okay. Um, I don't have any color. Good damn it. Good damn it. All right. Um, yeah, we're gonna okay, we're gonna get some cobblestone here. Um, I've I've always just taken it for granted the ability to, I guess, just have everything I need online. And if I you know if I want to go hiking with the boys or have lunch with the boys, then I would do that once every blue moon. And you know otherwise I'd play games with friends or whatever. But the opportunity to physically hang out with people is something I really realized last spring uh, because I made more friends when I was in Paris uh, for the semester than I did in the previous semesters combined. Um, now in the previous semesters combined, I made some really good friends. Don't get me wrong. But I made more friends in Paris and that made me realize, you know what? Um, I need more friends. I need to involve myself, be more proactive, you know, giving myself an actual social life. Um, and um, yeah, it's really difficult to maneuver that because people have varying, um, varying regards of this whole social distancing thing. Now, my philosophy, right, is I'm not going to hang out with someone who goes out a lot or whatever, but I'm down to hang out with friends who have stayed in state and have been respecting the social distancing practices. Um, not everyone's the same and that's, you know, that's fine. I don't, in that regard, I'm like, I'm okay with this level and you know, I totally respect it if you're not, but in, in general, I don't think anyone, <sighs> And no one wants to be strict. <laughs> People just want to be safe, right? And, you know, I think I'm going to... It's just tough. Because we were going to go somewhere for Christmas, we being my family. And um, I decided I'm not going to go because when I come back, I have to quarantine and I could, wouldn't be able to see anybody. Because even if my friends were like, nah, man, that's okay. Like, you went to New York and you only... Whoops, it's ironic because I'm supposed to already be there. Um, you know, you only saw these people or whatever. We're fine. I'd I'd be like, no, man. You know, I'd love nothing more. Don't get me wrong, but I I cannot deal with the fact like if I accidentally have it and I'm not affected and I don't notice it and I spread it to you and you spread it to your parents. I that's something I can't can't do. Um. And I, so, you know, in that regard, I don't think anyone says I want to isolate myself to isolate myself. And it's weird because as someone who's pretty much always isolated himself, um, fi I finally got a, got a taste, got a whiff of what it's like to not be. And, um, yeah, no, that's pretty much it. So I think that just really, really 
kind of burned out my motivation and it, you know that's just the way the world is right now um which sucks <laughs> really sucks um but hey what are we gonna do about it right i'm just hoping things do you know things aren't gonna return back to normal but i just want to be able to hang out with people again man you can't all right i'll end on i'll end on a note on internet friends but um my mom was always saying like you can't ha you can't make friends over the internet not 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 in a strict regard i think her opinion now is definitely very different especially now that i've actually met some of my internet friends um shout out to everybody who i've met um straight up on a bucket list is just meeting them um but yeah um i'm a little scared we're gonna go mining wow you know what this is what this is what vgt is is meant to be um in case you weren't already aware <laughs> um go and grab this sorry i just had to take a take an iota of focus on the game there for a minute um yeah let's see okay um and you know my mom was always like you can't have the same interactions in real life as you can with people on the internet and at the time the people on the internet were my best friends um they i might argue were my only friends for a while at least um made some friends in middle school started making youtube videos the ability to speak changed my life um i should be more specific the ability to learn how to speak changed my life um because when people talk to you and you know how to actually say something back an amazing ability um and i think you know scheduling with youtube and stuff it, the channels at 300 subscribers right but i have no it's already given me so much i'm not going to complain um so yeah and anyway you know they were with friends for a while but recently i've been connecting with people on a different level on a much more personal level which i love um that's who i am and you you learn there are some some people are stuck in the past and some people aren't <laughs> i'm trying not to get specific here oh my god this is insufferable um I just have these filters in my brain that kind of do it for me. Um, sometimes they give incorrect information though, so I'm trying. Yeah, never mind. Don't think too much about it. Um, but yeah, you you make more personal connections with people, and there's just when you know you've seen some when when you've when you've been with someone in person, it's different than being with them. I mean, a pixelated person is different when they exist in in real space right um and it's kind of like i've i've finally understood what that means because you know if i'm ever in london i'll, I'll be like yo tom what's up man um so i'm in t london when are we hanging out <laughs> it's happened twice he's been in new york once um and yeah i you know I, recently i guess there are specifics but again i'm not going to go into that um specific haha anyway it's just you know and there's nothing anyone can do about it it's just not a damn thing <laughs> uh and you know what it just is like that I hate saying it, but it is what it is. Um, I wish I could. It's not even changing people's opinions. I'm kind of answering a little critique I had in my own head, right? It's just changing the state of the world because it, I, it, on one end of the spectrum, you know, suppose you have a friend who is going out to the store in hazmat suits and 
I don't know, has filled the HEPA filters installed in their room. Like on that one end, it's like, I totally understand. And I say, you know what, you know, you don't want to hang out that I fully respect it. You know, on the other hand, um, you might have a best friend who goes out all the time to multiple different places and doesn't, you know, maybe they mask, <laughs> please mask. Um, but you know, they, they do whatever. Right. And then, um, you're like, dude, I uh, love to hang out with you right now. Would would love to go hiking with with the boys. Uh, now the boys are they're pretty safe. Well, if the boys are watching, they're gonna know what I mean. Um, <laughs> maybe they won't. They're not watching though, so it's fine. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, on that end of the spectrum, it's like, dude, I I want to get lunch, but I ain't going near you. <laughs> um and ah, there's just no perfect balance because all it takes all it takes is one person that's all it takes that is all it takes one person um i was doing my mental time travel thing and that was an argument that came up in a scenario and I'm like but it's just one person yeah but all it takes is one person one person is all it takes um Anyway, I didn't, I'm not, is that gold? I'm not frustrated anymore. I'm just bummed out. <laughs> Isn't depressed just another word for being really bummed out? Is that from the office? I think it is. Um, it's just, it just sucks. <laughs> um, and you know, I don't know if you're going, if, you, if you've had something similar, I'd love to hear your, your thoughts below. Um, I'm certain I'm not alone. <laughs> it's just, you know, in tandem with the, the semester ending and maybe we're at 33 minutes, whatever. If you're still here, you're still here, right? This is for me anyway. Um, Uh, there's a big problem that I have, and that is um, being able to know when to give myself personal time and being able to, um, yeah, I'm not going to make that big example. Being able to give myself personal time And knowing when to, uh, you know, the whole work hobby play thing. That was my first VGT. Um, I need to, you know, work hobby play. I don't play and I need to play. And I, I was looking, you know, I could finally play with other people, other persons. That sounds weird. Uh, hang out. Like, you know, I could finally... If I'm stuck at home all day because of this past semester, I've pretty much wired myself that if I'm in my room, I'm probably gonna be working on personal projects or something or watching YouTube or Netflix. And I don't wanna do either of those things. Uh, well, let me correct myself. I want to keep working on my personal projects and I want to watch, you know, Netflix and YouTube, but it's just so hard to be like, play a game and don't record it, man. It's fine. I haven't touched a hat in time since I recorded it for this. And I think I kind of spoke about that a little bit. I don't, I don't think I did actually, but yeah. And so I was going to work on that whole part of me. Right. And then, um, I had something I was looking forward to and it just can't happen. Um, it's no one's fault, of course. I shouldn't be planning to see anyone. Um, I just, I should have known that the world was going to work against me. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Um, you know, as, as far as things have come, I, I should have known that something was going to be like, haha, no, sir. Oh, I need to make a pickaxe, an iron pickaxe. I need to go write my script. That's what I really need to do. Well, yeah. Um, 
So this winter, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do. That sounds like I'm on the verge of tears. I promise I'm fine. Um, I mean, I'm so frustrated. Don't get me wrong there. <laughs> um, I'm just not on the verge of tears. I'm just tired. Exhausted. Really? That's it. Um, yeah. So, you know, if if you're listening and you kind of you if you can relate uh, it's always nice to know that there are people watching or listening to this and i know vgt has been dare i say the most popular thing on the channel i think it's because it's the it's the videos i make that i'm the most passionate about making i mean it's not like they're filled with passion as you can tell from this but you know they're podcast styley and I, I really enjoy making them and i think people can tell that i think people enjoy them um i know tech watched one on the good the good hike um, the last one about gift giving whatever that game is called um, and he was like yeah I'm avenging them and I was like oh that's cool um, so yeah I'm just tired I'm tired of having to do everything through technology like I have for so long in my life <laughs> I finally become self aware and then a little RNA boy comes along and says, you know what, Mark? We're going to screw you. <laughs> I'm going to screw you. Um, it sucks because no one can really do anything about it. Um, I mean, here I am arguing about my my social life. The one that I've never really had and finally thought I could have. but didn't. I don't know, man. And I'm going to be okay. Things are going to be fine. Um, and, you know, how things have been going are fine. It was just surprising, I guess. Startling. Um, you know, when you walk downstairs to get a cookie and your mom's like, so uh, I've been exposed. And you're like, ah. It's not my mom's fault. It's not the person who exposed her's fault. It's not my fault. It's not anyone else's fault. It's just is. And um, I don't know. I feel like there's something left I have to say on my mind. I'm scared that, you know, I want to do nothing this upcoming week. But I'm kind of scared that's going to have a negative impact because it already kind of has doing nothing these past few days. And by nothing, I mean doing the work required of me and not much more after that. <sighs> um, yeah, that's kind of it. Just kind of want to rant for a little bit. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching and or listening. Oh, let's go, boys. Let's freaking go. Wow, a single one. All right, yeah, she's scratching. Hang on, Ketzel, hang on. Um, thanks for watching and for listening. You know, really, I encourage you to buy the Stoic idea. You can't control what happens around you, but you can control what you do. And things are upsetting. Things totally outside of your power. Things totally outside of anyone's power. Um, yeah. Have a good one. And, uh, you know, if you want to stop by for Pokemon, I'll see you Monday. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Peace out. And uh, don't forget to stay safe.